More shocking footage of rappers without auto-tune. Could be worse. Hi, and welcome to King Trending, where today we'll be looking at even more shocking footage of rappers caught without auto-tune. Just like the last time, please keep in mind that just because these artists maybe use tools to enhance their vocals doesn't necessarily mean they're bad at singing. With that said, you'll want to stay until the end, because maybe one of your favorite rappers are guilty of overusing auto-tune. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and maybe comment about what you thought of the video, or what you'd like to see from us next. Yo, Percocet, Percocet. Future. T-Pain is like a college professor with a PhD in autotune, and Future is that slacker student no one likes, but still, somehow manages to get the highest course grade. It's not to say Future shouldn't, or even can't use autotune, but there's a reason these two had a moment of conflict. T-Pain pretty much popularized the practice, and Future is just using it a willy-nilly in his eye. Wake up, take a sip of Ace of Spade like it's water. I've been on the mountain in the Zans with your daughter. If she gets me cheap, wake up, take a sip of Ace of Spade. Early on in Future's career, his reliance on autotune was heavily critiqued. But by now, he's done so much work with his natural voice that any criticism about the artist has been left in the past. There are moments for Future where it doesn't hurt to give yourself a little handicap, especially with some styles of rap he likes to challenge himself with. Kodak Black Kodak, on the other hand, has never been one to abuse the system, especially with his constant theme of hopelessness. Kodak's naturally deep, somewhat throat-scratching voice can be necessary to match with the tune's vibe. In some of his songs, however, like Tunnel Vision and Skirt, it's helpful to keep the consistent tone, included ad-libs, and to stay on key. And what so many of Kodak's fans can appreciate is how different every song is. Sometimes he'll sing, incorporate a bit of early 2000s street rap vibe, or with songs like Patty Cake, offer a more cheerful sound. In this case, autotune is necessary to give Kodak's voice a Higher pitch. I'm seven on Bella, my chip from Bella, my will from Germany, I'm cooler than LL. In order to match up with a bubblegum style beat. In person, it doesn't sound quite right. Little Uzi Vern. In short, this man is any street rapper's worst nightmare, straying away from traditional rappers like Jay-Z, Ice Cube, and Tupac. Little Uzi directly appeals to the trap rap generation, similar to Chief Keef and Young Thug back in 2012. Unlike most late 2010 artists, Little Uzi won't stray away from a challenge, so it's not uncommon to hear him go without a tune in the background, 100% natural. And it's not like he heavily uses autotune either to the point of distorting his voice completely. Who the f are you? I might just put my arm, yeah, right in there, like, yeah. I feel like boozy with all of, the, all of these diamonds and diamonds. Yeah, all of these diamonds, they dancing. Yeah, feel like they're baby be prince. It's similar to Kanye and Fetty, where there's no need to enhance his voice. It's just to amplify, which is why hearing his natural voice for the first time is so odd to most. Rich to vibe like commas. Vibes for the God. Rich that was some roll runners. Little Yachty. Since the release of his Little Boat mixtape, Yachty has often been the center of attention when discussing what constitutes hip-hop and rap. Immediately, even Yachty considered himself to not be a rapper, claiming his style of music to be somewhat bubblegum trap. If you're not sure what that is, I guess just listen to a bunch of Little Yachty. Anyways, back to the narrative. Amongst the criticisms surrounding Little Yachty's sound, he's also questioned for his heavy use of autotune. Obviously. It's not to say Yachty can't produce great content without the software, as his freestyles will show for. It's just a way for Yachty to stretch the limits of his voice naturally, to meet that signature, bubbly-ish sound his fans enjoy. Childish Gambino, Donald Glover. Many would consider Childish Gambino to be a musical genius. His incredibly unique and ever-changing style of voice and music coupled with his lyrical proudness makes him severely unappreciated. Now, obviously, if you were to compare a digital file of Redbone compared to a live performance, there will be major differences.
but it doesn't diminish his amazing ability to put on a show. Then you'll have more reasonable sounds like 2005 and sweatpants, which confidently display his use of autotune to keep a consistent sound all throughout each chorus and verse. Kanye West. T-Pain might have popularized autotune, but Kanye delivered strong after releasing his fourth album, 808s and Heartbreaks, which featured a couple of autotune filled powerhouses. And while some rappers will use it to make themselves sound better, I mean, that's sort of the point, Kanye uses the software as more of a way to amplify his emotions. That, or just all the more reason for Kanye to listen to himself. Yes. She told the director she trying to get in the school. He told her take them glasses off and get in the pool. Yes. It's been a while since I watched the tube. Cause like a crip set, I got way too many blues for any more bad news. It'd be why you rarely, and I mean rarely, see him perform without a voice configuring microphone. And if you do, it's only because someone messed up in the sound department. And you're left there in the audience disappointed. Don't get me wrong though. His voice isn't altered every time and can actually be quite good. <laughs> Little Wayne. Wheezy was always one to abuse the easy route and use autotune, even from his early days of releasing mixtapes like Dedication, way back in 2007. It did eventually lead him to the mainstream success thanks to probably his biggest hit, Lollipop, in 2008. Immediately, he and T-Pain were a powerhouse duo back in the day and could coordinate extraordinarily well. To hear them transition from autotune to their real voices though was something else. And you can definitely hear it any time Lil Wayne would perform. So by now, you're probably tired of hearing this guy's name. But come on, T-Pain pretty much made autotune. Now many wouldn't even argue that he's the king of technology, considering he studied the art for two years before producing any music with it. And with that hard work, it's evident that T-Pain does have the cleanest sounding autotune. Even if it's primarily what he's known for, never doubt T-Pain's actual singing ability. What's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you a drink. I'm it might surprise you. The fact of the matter is that for a certain style music, like Kanye would do, T-Pain used autotune to amplify his voice and make it last with the beat. His voice wouldn't be all that different, but most notes autotune could help him hit. Would it be as possible in a live performance? Uh, hit the streets of Teddy so like on Willie B. Yeah. I'm Tennessee. Young Thug. Turns out, autotune isn't the only tool artists use. It's really just a base model compared to the several thousand alternatives they have when recording fire in a studio. Some studio producers even drag and drop plugins in the middle of recording. That's ridiculous. As for Thug, he prefers to listen to any modifications made as he's recording. Doesn't like the pitch, doesn't matter. No matter what he does in real time, Young Thug is able to convey that not so natural sound in an instant. It does have its downsides, of course. For one, his live performances are completely different from what you'd expect, at least if he's actually performing live and not lip syncing. But with works like Memo under his belt, performing that must be a nightmare. Young Thug literally sounds like a robot. Travis Scott. In recent years, Travis has perhaps become one of the more popular rappers for his distinct sound. Despite the excessive amount of editing done to his voice, it's not entirely special considering the overflow of autotune obsessed artists nowadays. Heck, I could do it from my own home, but it's Travis's willingness to experiment with the tool which makes him stand apart from the rest. Even with Travis's perfect sound and ability to style multiple traits into a single genre, thanks to his engineer, the difference between reality and fantasy is uncanny. My trap is still bucking the hundreds and hundreds, blue diamonds, I got it. Shining, I'm rhyming, I'm timing. Trap is still gumming. My trap is still bunking. My trap is still bunking. When you hear Travis without his microphone, I'm doubtful that will ever happen, though. The man cussed out a security guard in auto tune on stage in the middle of a concert. <laughs> Smoking on his dope, also known as Patch. Get it. 
Chief Keef. It's similar to the whole future situation as well. Not only is it misused, but it's incorporated into far too many of Chief Keef's songs, old and new. And the sad part about it is that it's what held him through for a majority of his career. Which, to be honest, was 2012 and part of 2013. Chief is still producing tons of new singles at a consistent pace, but a lack of better judgment from the artist and overuse of audio effects did not help, and the differences in his natural voice and edited voice are astounding. And with that said, that concludes what are some shocking moments of rappers without autotune. Feel free to comment what you thought about today's video, and maybe leave a like if you enjoyed. Also, don't forget to subscribe and push that notification button to see more King Training videos similar to this one in the near future, and have yourself an excellent day. Also guys, just another a reminder to enter the iPhone X giveaway we have going on. All you guys need to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications, drop a like and comment down below. That's all for today's video guys. We'll see you right back here on King Trending on the next video.